Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today we're gonna to talk about dilations on the coordinate plane for geometric figures. We're gonna look at some really basic figures. We're going to go through what a reduction would mean for a figure for a dilation and an enlargement. Um, you can have a figure, a geometric figure, get smaller. That would be the reduction that we're gonna look at the top. And you can have a figure get bigger or enlarged. And that's what we're going to see here at the bottom. Um, anytime you're undergoing a dilation where the R, the value that it's being changed by, that ratio is a value that's less than one, that's going to make it become smaller. So here, if I gave you a value of one third, I said this figure here, triangle ABC, is going to undergo a dilation of one third. That would mean that I would look at this image, my pre-image, I would first want to make note of what my coordinate points are, and you can see I have it listed here on the screen. And that would mean I would simply want to multiply each x and y value by one third. So I would take a of negative 3, 3, and I'd multiply negative 3 by a third, and multiply 3 by a third. Negative 3 times a third is negative 1. 3 times a third is positive 1. And so that would be my a prime. Okay, then my b prime and my C prime, and that would be my new value. If I wanted a figure to undergo an enlargement, okay, that would mean I would have a value that I'd be multiplying that's greater than one. If I gave you a value of three, that would mean I would take each one of these values and simply multiply the X and Y values by three. And I purposely gave us figures that actually brought us back to the original one here. So we started big, ended small, started small, ended up being big, Notice your pre-image and your image points are just in reversed order here, um, but that's what a reduction would mean in enlargement. A dilation is very easy to do. You just simply multiply the x and y coordinates by whatever your dilation is supposed to be. If you have a dilation of 1, a dilation of 1, anytime you multiply something by 1, it stays itself, so it doesn't get bigger or smaller. It's just that same exact size. So we're going to take a look, <coughs> excuse me, Add a few problems here. My top two are about reduction, so you can see um, my R is one half, my R is three fourths. Feel free to jot down these points in advance right now and see if you can write down what the new points would be. Same thing here, and then kind of press play and see where you go with it. So triangle ABC, okay, has pre-image points of negative three four, negative three three, and two negative three. If I was to have this figure undergo a dilation of one half, I'd multiply every x and val y value by one half. So my a prime we can become negative 1.5 and then 2. My b prime, negative 1 half, negative 1 half. My c prime, 1, negative 1 1.5. And you can imagine if we saw before, if a reduction, a value less than 1, makes the value smaller, the new image smaller, then we can already assume what this is going to look like. And if you made these points, excuse me, and if you made these points, it would look just like this. A reduction of three fourths. So it's going to be a smaller, a small, it's going to be a reduction, but it's not going to be as small as a reduction of one half. It's going to be a little bit bigger. Think about if you were multiplying something by three fourths. Um, if you multiplied eight by three fourths, you would get six. If you multiplied eight by a half, you would get four. So this is going to be smaller, but not as small as this one was compared to its pre-image. My pre-image points here, D is at negative 3, 4, E is at 3, 4, F is at 3, negative 4, and G is at negative 3, negative 4. If I multiply all of these by 3 fourths, D prime would be negative 2.53, E prime is 2.253, F is 2.25, negative 3, and g would be negative 2.5, negative 3. And so I get a smaller figure, not as small as what half would do to a figure, but still definitely smaller. Now let's take a look at an enlargement. So and I have an enlargement of 2.5 and then an enlargement of 2. So that would simply mean I'm going to take my x and y values. I'm going to multiply each one by 2.5. Same thing here. I'm going to take my x and y values and multiply everything by 2. So h, i, j. H is at negative 1, negative 1, I is at 2, negative 1, and J is at positive 2, 1. If I multiply H by 2.5, I would get negative 2.5, negative 2.5. I 
I prime would be 5 comma negative 2.5 and J prime would be 5 2.5. So this enlargement, you can see when I plot those points, it's definitely much bigger. It would be me multiplying this figure twice and then by an additional half. So that's what two and a half would tell us to do. It's much bigger as we see. Multiplying by two. So my pre-image, K is at negative one, two. L is at one, two. M is at one and then negative half. Watch out for that point. And N is at negative one, negative half. Multiplying everything by two is pretty nice. K prime is at negative two, four. L prime is at two, four. M prime is at two, negative one and n prime is at negative two, negative one. And if I plot those points, I clearly see I have a much bigger figure. It's actually, everything was expanded by two. I hope this was a very, very easy lesson for you. If you need any other help with transformations, please take a look at my page. Thank you so much for joining me on this video.